Okay, this is a um, discussion about Soldier's Home by Ernest Hemingway. The Battle of Bella Wood um, was one of the most important and legendary battles. It kind of helped turn the tide of World War I. Uh, the Americans were tasked with capturing Bella Wood um, and clearing it of German soldiers. Um, they had to cross a field into an incoming machine gun fire. Um, 1,000 U.S. troops died on the first day, which is more than the Marine Corps had lost in its entire 143 year history. Um, in three weeks, there were 2,000 dead and 8,000 injured. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give you that background information so that you can kind of see um, how this soldier who's returned home, Krebs, he, it, it's all about how um, the shock that he experiences when he tries to re-enter into his old life uh, the after the trauma of war, especially a battle like this one and the psychological effects it can have on someone. Um, he returns to a complex world. Um, he wants a simple life. He wants to return back, kind of pick up where he left off. Um, but he has found after he returns that that's a lot more challenging than um, he initially thought it would be. Um, he cannot love and he cannot pray anymore after what he's experienced. And so he isolates himself. Um, a lot of critics say that his soul is gone now after what he's seen. Um, he seeks guidance from war books to kind of help him make sense of, of what has happened to him and, and what he's currently experiencing. Um, in the first paragraph, we see that there was a time when uh, Krebs did fit in, when, when he was uh, home before the war, before everything changed. And so he doesn't come back um, with the other soldiers. Um, he returns a year later. And so he doesn't get that um, that big celebration that the other soldiers had had when they return home as, as war heroes. Um, so he returns. He doesn't get that same um, laud and, and um, cheer um, as the other soldiers did. And so that is part of kind of what makes him an outsider. Uh, he has to lie. Uh, to connect with others and get them to listen to him. He lies about his experiences, um, just just trying to get other people to engage with him. So, a little bit about the author. Hemingway was in the military. Um, he has kind of patterned his, uh, this story, um, and, and the narrator specifically of the story, um, from his real life experiences. And he writes this story in a very detached journalistic style, like a reporter. It's very objective, very disinterested, um, kind of like that whole idea of the scientist examining a specimen, like a war reporter, just reporting the facts. Um, the story is kind of, um, secondary to to the the purpose of his writing he was a, a military reporter um, and so the whole idea that the glory of war is is an illusion um, the reality instead is the sickening fear um, and, and when he returns home and, and is unable to to go back to that, pre-war identity, that innocent frat brother that he used to be. Um, the nickname Hare, you think about uh, Flight and Fright, um, uh, how a rabbit uh, either f flees usually um, and, and, or fright. Uh, when you think about uh, fight and flight, a hare is not like that. It's fright and flight. It's a scare and then run away. And so that's very, um, very apropos to his situation. Home, in this story, Soldier's Home, home is no longer home to him anymore. It is either now a lie 
or a place ignorant of what he discovered in the war. They can't relate to um, to his to his situation. So you have the idea of this kind of this third person narrator who is disinterested, um, detached. Um, you, he allows us to see, um, Krebs as a, a, he's a hero, but he is no longer, um, the man, he's a shell of the man that he was before. And seeing it through his perspective helps, uh, sympathize with Krebs' plot. Um, he doesn't have... Um, he doesn't have anybody that understands him. He doesn't have anybody that um, he can sympathize with him because they didn't see what he saw. Um, and he saw a lot. He saw a lot of death. He saw a lot of his brothers in arms die. I mean, the whole idea that, you know, a thousand men died, uh, which was more than, you know, 143 years of military history in one day a thousand men um no one can no one can connect with him uh there the girls can't connect um his family cannot connect he cannot uh he cannot pray and he cannot love and no one cares he comes home no one cares and so, seeing it through that perspective of the third-person narrator allows us to sympathize with Kreb um, and see his his side of of what's happening to him um, in in this story. Um, and so, hopefully, um, you know, he was able to go from that and and bridge a connection to the world. That he lives in but the narrator seems to indicate that that won't happen that he will continue to isolate himself and draw into himself um he is trying to make a decision at the end of the story if he could go move away and get a job and 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 ends up just going and uh to the schoolyard and and watching other people live their lives and he's unable to do so